Le complexe de Tapu Tapu Atea se trouve en Polynésie française, à 250 km de Tahiti, sur l'île de Reyatea. Hawaii ou Hawaiki était l'ancien nom de cette île sacrée. Hawaii, la sacrée qui enfante la terre. Hawaii, la sacrée qui enfante les dieux, les chefs et les hommes. Ce complexe de Tapu Tapu Atea comprend une montagne. C'est Tea et Tapu, celle qui exauce le sacré. S'y rejoignent les deux sommets dans Urufatiu, le lien qui engendre. Juste en dessous se trouve le marais Vaiarei, l'assise d'ostentation des huit présents. Une place cérémonielle s'étend dans la plaine. C'est Matatii, le petit nuage veilleur. La place cérémonielle étendue, c'était Tahua Roa, celle qui dicte les présages et les festivités pour toi, Ho'opoa et Hotopu. Une péninsule savant sur le lagon, c'est Matahira Iterei, le guetteur des divinités. Le cœur du sanctuaire est Taputapuatea, le rite sacré qui sanctifie dans le lointain. Réceptacle du cœur sacré de la pieuvre expansionniste, pierre de consécration des huit têtes, sanctuaire où régna Hiro Ari, premier chef portant la ceinture de plumes rouges de la grande Réatea. Fières sont ces rivières, elles sont à l'intérieur des terres. Veitaratoa, la résidence des redoutables guerriers. Veitiare, celle qui s'élève parfumée dans la plaine. Eroitomoana, celle qui repose et entraîne vers l'océan, au-delà du tombeau. Et des maisons d'artistes de ces harieux parsèment le littoral. Elles sont un gîte hospitalier pour les populations. Fa'a Oriva est la vallée des géants pêcheurs d'espace, où sèchent les bananes bien mûres. Un îlot se trouve du côté du récif, c'est Iiyariri, le rouge coléreux. C'est un nuage veilleur qui annonce mauvaise fortune au loin sur l'océan et qui avertit celles et ceux restés sur l'île. Teava Moa, la passe d'expansion civilisatrice est là. Elle est la porte sacrée de poids lorsque la surface de ses eaux se hérisse des pales de rames. Un océan s'étend vers le lointain, c'est Moana Oriva, l'océan des géants pêcheurs d'espace du monde, des puissances visibles et invisibles, sur lequel se meuvent et rampent les flots de la grande pieuvre reine.
I've been a member of the Hokulea crew since uh, 1975. It's been a, been a long haul for us, but it's been a very good experience. And I'm, I'm here again after being here a few times. Back in 1976, it was about uh, rediscovering ourselves. Who are we? Where do we come from? And uh, when we, f we came here, uh, we felt like we found our, our pico, our pito. Yeah? We found ourselves again. And that's why we come back here all the time, because this is our beginning. All we had were the stories. All we had to us were the stories of our Tupuna. For all of us throughout the Pacific, that we had stories of our people voyaging on canoes. And Hokulea was built again to see if it was possible for Stone Age people to build these wooden canoes with primitive tools to actually cross the greatest ocean on the face of the earth and to find these tiny little jewels within the sea that these great people that gathered at places like Tapu Tapu Atea, that they observed their surroundings enough to understand that they could use the stars and the sun and the ocean and the clouds in the skies and the colors in the skies to really guide them across these oceans and to trust that in the words of their ancestors and to trust in the knowledge and that's who we come from and that in our DNA still runs the blood of these great, great people. <laughs> For Hawaiians, Tapu Tapu Atea is the beginning of our religion and our history. We know that our people come from Ra'iatea. We had temples Tapu Tapu Atea in Hawaii. On uh, Kauai, on Oahu, on Molokai, we had three Tapu Tapu Atea there. So we know we come back and forth. Within this area um, is a very sacred place where there are four marae, four large marae. Marae Tapu Tapu Atea, Marae Opoteina, Marae Hauviri, and uh, Marae Hititai. Behind us we have the most sacred of the marae in this complex, which is Marae Tapu Tapu Atea. Tapu Tapu Atea is in the legends in Hawaii, in New Zealand, and many of the other islands of Polynesia as being the place um, representing Hawaiiki, which is Rai Atea as well. Um, as a source of um, all mana, it's recognized as uh, being the center for uh, Polynesia. Polynesia is like a fe'e, an octopus, with all the, all the arms uh, spreading out into different areas. And um, at the center of the fe'e was the Raiatea, Hawaiki. And at the center of Hawaiki, I think, is Marai Tapu Tapu Atea. I think not just for me, but for all of the crew members to, to finally see the place that we read about so many times. And, um, it makes us feel whole. What we do when we come here is to honor the ancestors, our ancestors. We did protocol there in the ocean, and then a series of chants that lead us up to Tapu Tapu Atea. And then we offered Ho'okupu, our whole delegation, to Tapu Tapu Atea to honor this important place, this marae that connects all of us from Hawaii, Aotearoa, Rapa Nui, and all of us, all of our islands. Captain Cook said it, and he traveled throughout the Pacific and uh, he heard the similar language, as he called it, the largest nation on earth. Then in 1995, uh, Te Aurere from Aotearoa came, uh, Te Aotonga, and um, Takitumu from uh, Cook Islands, and Hawaii Loa from Hawaii, and Hokulea. So it was a, a, a more and more of us are, are finding ourselves here. Rayatea, l'île sacrée, l'île des anciens rois. C'est à Opoa que doit se dérouler la grande rencontre des pirogues. Au fil des siècles, de nombreux marae ont été construits sur la pointe de Mataira et Terai, entre les baies de Otopu et Teavamoa, en face de la passe sacrée. 
La légende raconte que Hiro y établit il y a bien longtemps le centre de l'Alliance. En ces temps reculés, l'Alliance regroupait les îles de la société ainsi que la plupart des îles du triangle polynésien. Tous ces royaumes insulaires alliés organisaient à haut poids des rencontres régulières pour leurs sages, leurs prêtres et leurs guerriers. De grandes délibérations internationales y étaient prises. Un jour cependant, l'Alliance fut brisée. Plusieurs siècles après, l'Alliance doit être réunifiée. This federation was, uh, was placed, well, they met in Raiatea, because Raiatea became the center of Eastern Polynesia. Now you have, Nukuhiva is Hawaiki Runga, Upper Hawaiki. Raiatea is Hawaiki Nui. Raratonga is Hawaiki Ravo. Lower Hawaii. These are the three Hawaiis, and the center was Raiatea. This is where our main uh, marae is, Tapu Tapu Atea. This is where the Federation met in the old in history until they had troubles. And we'd like to see the Federation reformed, and we're going to try to reform it while we are in Hawaii. So we bring back this concept of one nation. Poe pati hi o rai to te horo rau te tau, mori ra te hiro, mi te tau mai o te mo te puna. I to rato fano rai ni te pumuana, en he pai te o tau te ni wau handere mo te iti. Rato pati mo hi te mata mo te fano ni te ni moana rai. E te mai te te mana te mo te iti to te tau tau te ni wau handere e wau rua mapa te tu puna te wau rua rara. Amu mai e to wau te ro, ta to wehi, to trapanu e to te iti show. Sur le Marae, un hymené ouvre la cérémonie d'accueil. Afin de sceller la nouvelle alliance, chaque équipage a ramené une pierre de son pays qu'il dispose sur le site sacré. Une petite délégation pasquane ouvre la marche. Hawaïens, Rarotongiens, Maoris et Polynésiens vont les rejoindre. La cérémonie des cordelettes doit également sceller le destin de ces pirogues venues d'horizons lointains. Un morceau de cordage en fibre naturelle, provenant de chaque pirogue, est ainsi offert aux dieux anciens sur le Marae. Le canoe belongs to all Polynesians. And that begins here at Tapu Tapu Atea in Raihatea. We must come here to begin that ancestral journey around the world. Tapu Tapu Atea, for for us, beyond question has merit. It's like for the voyages, there are places that are that anchoring point for the canoes, that place in the middle of our ocean that allows us to go around the world. We will continue to make it a part of us every day, that it continues to live, that it will continue to be here. And one of the special things that I saw there that, that uh, meant a lot to me, because I was there in 1976 at Tapu Tapu Atea. And when I came back now in 1995, 
how much more clean the place was and how much more protected it was. So we are grateful that you are here and uh, we are grateful that we are reconnecting with all of you. You know, there are a number of reasons why this place is so special. Um, spiritually, culturally, we are connected. Malama Honua, which means to take care of our island earth, uh, really it is a very special, special place. And our kupuna, especially our kupuna here in Tapua Tapua Tea, they, they knew that. They had these um, rich connections with their past. And I think for me, the newer generation coming up, uh, we're kind of in a world where we face losing that connection. And so that is why it's important for us to take care of this area and to malama, care for our connection to this area. And I feel that us being here and a, a lot of the younger generation being a part of this, in a large way, we're now part of that responsibility, stewarding that relationship to continue that tapu tapu atea lives on. And it's not just something that you hear about, but something that is still perpetuated today, it's still being practiced. <laughs> Tapu Tapu Atea teaches us what the ancestors knew. That is, we can see that measure this wall, it is zero degrees north. In Hawaii, temples that are zero degrees north are used to measure the sun as it proceeds from solstice to equinox to solstice. That ancient understanding of the universe helped us travel all over the Pacific Ocean, but it also has helped many ancient peoples survive at the land. Today, we're looking at how to survive on Mother Earth. We have to remember those old lessons. So the scientific understanding that our ancestors had of the universe was very simple, didn't need any gadgets. They didn't even have the compass. How did they build that wall, Zero North? But they had the mind. And that's what we must think about today. What do we learn about how to plant the land, how to care for the ocean from this kind of marae? What do we learn? And so we go back to looking at what ancestors have taught us. Sometimes we've forgotten that story, but in Polynesia, in the Pacific, Tapu Tapu Atea is that stone remain from the ancestors that teach us for the future. It belongs to all of mankind. It started off being just for our people, but I think um, I think all peoples can benefit from the stories that come from this site.